Hello, my name is Leslie Downs of Seabreeze Counselling Plus. I'm a psychotherapeutic counsellor and personal development coach. My mission when I'm working with my clients is to take them from the negative to the positive, from the can't do to the can do. Clients often come to see me, see me when they're feeling very anxious and sometimes they're suffering from anxiety attacks or panic attacks. Those can take many different physical forms. Could be that they are experiencing their heart racing or palpitations, perhaps a feeling of nausea or faintness, hot and sweaty. There's all sorts of things that people talk about. And panic attacks can be a bit strange in the sense that people don't know when they're going to come. Um, and they come on quite quickly. They usually last between 5 and 20 minutes and the peak is around 10 minutes. But in other circumstances people do have an idea when they're going to come and they worry about it happening and start to develop safety behaviours to counteract it. So often places where like theatres, cinemas, um, people will develop safety behaviours of sitting always at the end of the row so that they can escape if they need to. Um, going into shops, that can cause anxiety for some people. And driving on the motorway is another common one. So people will develop safety behaviours of only driving on smaller roads. It may take them longer and a lot further round to get there, but they know that they are, have the control that they can stop the car and get out, which they don't have on a motorway. But let's think about what panic attacks really are. They are, in fact, just the brain playing tricks on us. Thousands of years ago, when we were cavemen and we had to fight bears, the body developed its way of checking out the danger and um, reacting to danger and the body, the brain releases adrenaline into the body and that causes us to tense our muscles, makes the heart beat faster to get more um, energy and all the things that we experience as panic attacks was actually to save us from danger. These days we don't actually encounter many bears but the body hasn't kind of caught up with that so we still do the same thing and so if we experience a situation that we think is going to be dangerous for us the brain releases the adrenaline and that causes the reaction in the body which brings on the palpitations or that feeling of palpitations or heart racing. Now, the best way to deal with panic attacks is to think of them as just what I've said, really, that it's the brain playing tricks on us. And try to monitor that and to monitor our breathing as well. That will help to calm the situation down. I have a visualisation technique that I use a lot with clients just to help them to be able to calm themselves. So I thought perhaps we would just run through that now. So get yourself comfortable and close your eyes and think about walking in a park. And as you're walking through the park, feel the grass and look up and see the blue sky and the sunshine and the birds up in the trees. And look down and see all the flowers around, dotted around in the grass and all the colours. Notice the colours. And as you're walking through that park, you come to the centre of the park and you see a fountain, a huge water fountain. It's absolutely beautiful. Now as you watch the water fountain, think about your breathing. As the water goes up the fountain, you are drawing the water up with your breathing. So as you breathe in, imagine that water going up higher and higher to the top of the fountain. And then as you breathe out, the water cascades down. 
and you can see that water coming down. So try it a couple of times. Breathe in and watch the water. Draw it up to the top of the fountain and then breathe out and watch the water cascading down very gently. If you try that, it will help you to calm your breathing and to regulate your body. And it also has the added effect of it distracts your mind from the panic attack. So you start to visualize yourself in that nice, warm, sunny, calm place and start to forget about the panic that's going on. I hope you found that helpful. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. You'll also find there link to my website and my contact details. Thank you for watching. Do take care and I'll see you again soon.